What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Now in today's video I have some news to share with you guys regarding the time trials in GTA Online. So let's go ahead and get straight into things. So as I'm sure you guys know by now, the time trials are a weekly challenge offering you the opportunity to compete for $50,000 to try and race from one location on the map to another in less than the challenge time. Now I'm sure all of you guys have tried at least one of these if you play GTA 5 on an Xbox One, PlayStation 4 or the PC. And of course this time trials feature was first added into the game back in September of 2015 in the free mode event update. Now when the time trials feature was first made available online, a total of 22 time trials were added to the game and of course each week we receive a different one to try and complete. Well last week was the 22nd week since the free mode events update had been released into Grand Theft Auto Online, of course meaning the time trial available that week was the very last one that Rockstar had initially added to the game. Well this of course sparked many rumours and questions throughout the community with people wanting to know what was going on, would Rockstar be adding some more time trials into the game for the following weeks or would Rockstar be stopping the time trials feature altogether? Well with today being a Monday when typically new time trials begin, I can now confirm Rockstar are simply repeating the old time trials that we received back in September. So the first ever time trial we received, that being the one which I'm playing right now in the video, the Del Perro Pier time trial, is now available once again in game. So whether you completed it already or not, you can now go ahead and do this again and try and compete for $50,000. Now to be honest, at first I thought Rockstar was going to be releasing a new update into the game just so they could release some new time trials into GTA Online, but as it turns out, they will not be doing that. Instead, we will be repeating the time trials we've already received. But that isn't necessarily a bad thing. Many of the time trials we've already had are fairly easy and simple, so you guys can make yourself an easy $50,000 each week just playing these time trials once again. So there we go guys, for those people wondering, the time trials will be available once again in GTA Online in the same order they were available last time each week. Well with that being said guys, that is it for this video, I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and feelings about this, are you guys happy that Rockstar are repeating them or would you prefer to see some new ones? Go ahead and leave a comment on this video. It would also be greatly appreciated if you guys could also take a few seconds out of the like button as it helps me out a lot. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I really recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.